There are seven seals, and seven horns. In the land of Moriah, Isaac came and offered at the altar, for he was to fight for the God of his fathers against the forces of darkness. Lo, in the midst of the throne and of the four beasts, and in the midst of the elders, stood a lamb, having seven horns on the altar, the horns of it were upon the four corners thereof, the horns were of shit and wood, and it was overlaid with brass, and there was a crown of gold round about, and the lamb came and took the buck out of the right hand of him that sat upon the throne. Thus will I bless thee, Lord, while I live, I will lift up my hands in thy name. My soul shall be satisfied as with marrow and fatness, and my mouth shall praise thee with joyful lips, when I remember thee upon my bed, and meditate on thee in the night watches. Sing a new song, for the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, hath prevailed to open the book, and to loose the seven seals thereof. In the right hand of him that sits on the throne is a book written within and on the back side, sealed with seven seals. The God of creation will restore sovereignty to the tribes of Native America, and restore their lands. His hands are outstretched, he gives as he wills. Certainly, what was revealed to us from our Lord will increase many of the disbelievers in defiance and blasphemy. But Yahweh, Allah, the Most High, the Great Spirit will protect us from the people. This is April Shell Ties, using the computer to generate this message. This is Rome, and they decided to put me down. My dogs were poisoned, two of my brothers and a niece are dead. There is a secret out there, that they don't want you to know. Hypnosis is being used against you daily, and a hypnotist can control you. They only need to grab a hold of you, and now they control you from a distance. They can even hold conversations with you on the astral plane, which some people call the realm of thought, or the spirit realm. The well-known science of the mind author Joseph Murphy calls it the subconscious mind. Stay away from astral plane conversations. God does not talk to you. He talked with Moses, and gave Moses his law. God does not have conversations with you all day. That's a human, pretending to be a deity, on the astral plane, but it's really a human, who can, and will, hurt you who is evil enough to pretend to be God. These people are into genocide, and they are the same people who practice genocide against Jews, Africans, Muslims, Native Americans, Mexicans, and more. Don't have conversations on the astral plane. Stay in God's word. The scriptures say, those who spend their wealth in the way of Allah, and then do not follow up what they spent with reminders of their generosity or with insults, will have their reward with their Lord. They have nothing to fear, nor shall they grieve. 